let's finish with a little quiz on the question of states. So here is the game of backgammon. Many of you may know the game, others not. So we have 24 fields and there is a black player who plays the black pieces and a white player. Each player here has 15 pieces and these pieces can be put one or several on these different fields. And one important thing to know is that if there are two pieces of the same color on a field, then these two pieces are protected against the other player. So the game position is just a discrete, a number of discrete possibilities. So we have discrete states. And now I'll ask, I ask the questions, the question of how many discrete states do we have? And to make it simple, we don't play with 15, but just with two pieces per player. Just two pieces per player, 24 fields on the board. And the question is, how many states are there in total? Is it in the range of 100 to 500, 500 to 5,000, 5,000 to 50,000, more than 50,000? What do you think? Please pause the video for a moment to think and then I give the answer and I give the answer now. The number is huge. It's larger than 250,000. The first player can put the two, the 24, the two pieces each on one of the 24 positions. The second player can also put it on 24, except if there's a protected group, in which case there's only 23 possibilities and uh, just estimate this, put this into the calculator. The number is huge, larger than 250,000. So even with just two pieces per player, the number of states can be enormous. And we have to keep that in mind for all applications of reinforcement learning.